Hi there, today we're talking pinks. The sourcing and development of pinks has led to a vast array of incredible colours that would be impossible to mix. This is carmine, which originated from the cochineal beetle. You can see the pink being released from the actual crushed cochineal beetle shell. In watercolour, permanent carmine is now synthesised and therefore permanent and kinder to the beetle. It's a wonderful deep watercolour. This is rose madder genuine, which is still made from the root which the colourman George Field discovered. By adding large quantities of water, he extracted this amazing pink colour. It's extraordinary to think that this colour was created from this ordinary looking twig, but you can see, once dried and ground, the pigment is this delicate pink. When wetted out with gum arabic, you get this beautiful transparent pink. Rose Door is unique in colour, possessing a cool, clear tint that is hard to replicate. Tyrian Rose was originally the secretion of a sea snail and a vibrant, powerful pink. Here I'm using gouache, which is highly pigmented. This is Bengal Rose, which first came from a rose in India and is now synthesised. Not only is it more economical for the artist, but more permanent, retaining the same strong pink as you can see in this gouache. Opera rose is particularly useful in botanical study. Here in this watercolour, it has almost a fluorescent quality about it. Permanent rose is a beautiful, less expensive synthetic alternative. Other synthetic alternatives to magenta include permanent magenta, which is more permanent than the original, and also this quinacridone magenta. And finally, we have Potter's Pink, named because it was often used in ceramics and is a chrome and tin combination. As you can see, each pink has its own particular quality. I hope that you enjoyed this video.